Superstars is a fantastic child development organisation. What we do is we help schools to raise standards through the use of primary school subject specialists in sport, drama, music and art. I originally set up Superstars uh, around six years ago. I had a uh, £1,000 in the bank and um, I decided that I had this great idea to, to develop children through, through sport and through music and art and, and drama. And, um, and so that's what, that's what I did and have grown it over the past five or six years to 120 employees and working with over 35,000 children every week. I had a sort of eureka moment whilst I was in university when I sort of realised that if I was going to be successful then it was going to have to be a bit more than just getting a degree and a qualification. If I was going to achieve what I wanted to achieve then it had to be me in the driving seat and it had to be me as, as my own boss. I don't think there is ever a a right or a wrong time to, to set up in business. I think it's, it's, it's either something that you've got the heart and the desire and the, and the bravery to do. But now is as good a time as any to set up a business. I mean, we talk about recession and we talk about the credit crunch, but, but for me that's, you know, that's an opportunity because there are you know, a lot of people that have put off setting up in business because of that very reason. And so you know, for those that have got the guts to go out there and, and do it regardless of what the market conditions are, then they're in a much better position to, to thrive. My advice to, to any aspiring entrepreneur would be to, first of all, to do your market research and do it well. And once you've realised that it is a viable idea, then go at it with all the passion, all the belief that you've got in your heart. And don't listen to anybody that will tell you that it won't work, because once you've decided that it will work, that's all you need to know. Do what you, you, you really believe in, and believe in yourself, because if you don't believe in yourself, then the person sitting in front of you they won't believe in you either. Be prepared to dream big. Don't let people tell you that you can't, you can't do whatever it is that you want to achieve. Be prepared to work harder than, than everyone else around you, all of your friends, your colleagues, your family. You've got to be prepared to, to sacrifice what is necessary in order to get the rewards. Entrepreneurship, whilst has its rewards in the long term, isn't a bed of roses to start with. You know, you've really got to be prepared to take the knocks, take the setbacks, it's all about how you respond when you get hit the obstacles and the knockbacks. Yeah, the assistance from the Welsh, Welsh Government and getting, helping me to get Superstars off the ground was, was key because it gave me that, that support that I needed to, you know, to get the initial stages off the ground and to help drive it forward. I also was given a mentor through, through the Welsh Government, um, which, was, which was very helpful in the initial stages. I hadn't ever done a business course, so I was really flying by the seat of my pants and that gave me a bit of guidance and a bit of direction that I needed. I guess the best, one of the best pieces of advice that I've been given is, you know, in, in the early days, looking, looking for is there some kind of secret formula to success and, and realising that actually it's all about getting on that treadmill, keep on running, keep on working hard and being prepared to, to, to understand that there's no success without sacrifice, there's no get rich quick scheme or anything like that, but it's all about putting the hard work in now so you can reap the rewards later on.